but does if all the dimensions are right, we will purchase the table and I'm going to show you how to save a couple of dollars on restoration hardware. Hi guys and welcome to another video. We are in the car and we are on our way to go get the ring <laughs> from Miller's Jeweler. They have cleaned it for me and replated it. So I am excited to go and get this ring. It's been about two and a half weeks. So that I've been wearing this like silicone ring. So I am excited and I will show you as soon as we get it. And then we are running to Target because I want a new picture for the living room. And McGee and company has a cute picture that I almost picked up the other day um, to go over the couch, uh, but I didn't. And it's part of their new spring line. And I'm afraid that it is uh, all sold out. So if it is sold out, well, then we are just going to have to go to Kirkland's and see if they have a cute picture to go over the couch. You want to see? <laughs> so we go to a place called Miller's Jewelers and he is a very local um, kind of jeweler very old school we absolutely adore him he is he's really good it's kind of like going to your hometown jeweler and with all these big box stores i don't know you kind of lose your you know personalization anyway going to him it's just it's very nice we chat um he's a very kind soul and if you buy a ring from him um design it and buy a ring from him it's lifetime guaranteed so it needed to be replated like i told you because it's white gold and it needs to be replated or it starts to turn that yellow tinge and uh cleaning it's free for a lifetime and it can be resized which truth be told it probably needs to be resized because I'm gaining weight. <laughs> I'm not as thin as I once was. So, but it's good for now. <laughs> um, I did check about getting a second band underneath there because I feel like it's a little bit um, uneven. And he can make another band for me to go underneath. Although it's triple um, what it used to be. So it's triple, um, price. And I just, I can't, I can't do that right now. <laughs> I just, I can't, uh, I just can't. Not for a ring that I'm going to wear on my finger. Anyway, we are at Target. Let's run in there to see if they have that picture. And again, if they don't, we'll head over Kirkland's, which is just right next door. So let's, let's run in. Okay, here, here it is, but it's kind of loose. It's a bit of, no, we're not going to do that one. Okay, we're not getting that one because it is all wrinkly and then there's a flaw in it. I am getting a trash can. <laughs> Joe wanted a trash can in the office, so I'm giving him a trash can. I do like this one, but I don't like 
the frame. The frame is um, that fake wood, or it's just like a sticker over something that looks like wood. It's not real wood, but I do kind of like that one. So let's go to Kirkland and see what they have. Okay, we are at Kirkland's and oh, like my playground, it has to be the most magically smelling place in the universe, minus the bathhouse, of course. That place is magical as well. But let's head in, see what kind of art they have. I kind of looked on the website and I didn't see much. So, mm, we'll see. I'm not really finding anything. I kind of want a beach scene, not like a typical beach scene. I want like sand and kind of like a evening time sun setting because I got a match with that red couch so I'm not seeing anything really that's calling out to me I kind of like that one, but I don't like the silver and gold to it, but I love the frame and I love the, the muddiness of the color. And then I like this one here, but I don't like the triple frame thing. I'm not into that. I guess we're going to have to go somewhere else. All right, so we did not find anything in Kirkland's. Um, I didn't think that we would, although I did see a picture online, but when I got there, it's just too small. Um, but it was on rice paper, so it was texturized. So I know in Restoration Hardware, behind the sofas, they either do a big, huge picture, like a contemporary picture, or they do a mirror. So I think that I will, I will think about either one of them, whatever kind of shows up here, whichever one I see first, basically, I will probably purchase. Um, there's one more store we can go to. Um, it's called At Home. I don't know if you guys have it in your neck of the woods, but um, At Home is in my area, it's okay. Um, it looks like a big warehouse full of home decor, but um, it tends to be a little messy. Mine tends to be a little messy and um, not not the not the cleanest. But there's always boxes and they're always shuffling things around and they're always stocking and it just see it just it's a little chaotic in the store but we'll go and look we'll give it a chance and we'll go and look and see what we can find all right well there's one other store we can go to before we hit the at-home store, and that's Hobby Lobby. And it is Saturday, so that means if we don't go today, tomorrow they're closed. They, they, mm, they're closed on Sunday. So let's hop in there real fast and see what they have, it, just so I can rule them out. All right, so we are in luck. Their spring collection is 40% off, and if you can see they have some really good selection. I am really wanting a beach theme. 
our beach scene. So we'll see. We'll see what I can gather up for us. This one is cute. I like the mutedness of it. I love the browns. Not hip on the blue, but it looks like mountains reflecting in water. So this happens to be a good runner up. It's $99. So 40% off of $99. The one above it is really cute. I like that one. One fifty nine, but it's not my beach theme. Not hip on barns. Too abstract, -y, but I like it. I like that one, but that's too flowery. Um, One fifty nine would be. $95 and $99 would be $59. $129. That's cute and it has texture. I think that would look really good with the red couch. I really like this. It's solid frame and it's textured. It's not loose like the other one. I like it. But it's not beachy. So I like that, but it's too dark. It's not moody enough. And the rest of this is just all uh, too themey. So, that one's cute too, but that is, again, it's too themey. That's not what I'm wanting. So this one's okay too. I like it. It just, it doesn't have that depth that I, that I want. But it has moodiness that I want. I like this one here because it's on like this rice paper. It's very texturized. So I, I do like that. It's just not big enough to go behind the couch. It needs to be a little bit bigger. So I like this one because it has a frame along with it, but the colors are not right. I don't mean to be so picky, but um, I mean, it is really good. It looks textured, but it really isn't. Something like this. That obviously needs to be bigger. Okay, there is a ton of options here. A bit overwhelming. So I like that one, but I think it's too blue. This one is okay, but it's too pink. I like that one, but it's not a beach theme. I like this one, but there's gold on it. Um, that has some water, but then again, it has that gold on it, that gold leafing on it. That's abstracty beachy. Hey, that one. I like that one, but it is too pink. I don't know, I might just make my own. They're all very lovely. All very lovely. Okay, I like that one, but it's too blue. I like that one. I like that one. It's just too blue and purpley. 
So if we can get something, oops, something like that, not glued and fluffy. Well, I'm not finding anything. Um, I am done for today. I'm exhausted. I did not realize shopping for art was going to be so exhausting. I am going to put a pin in that decision and we will revisit that another time. But we're done for today. Good afternoon. It is Sunday and we are headed to the fancy mall so we can buy a fancy table. And I have changed my outfit three times because what does one wear to go to the fancy mall to buy a very fancy table at Restoration Hardware? So I just settled on a, just a jean shirt and a t-shirt and some leggings and I hope they don't kick me out. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Restoration Hardware. Let's ask a couple of questions before we actually pull the trigger on purchasing a table from there i am going to bring with me our design clipboard i have our paint sample i have the chair fabric sample and i have the table of choice and i have a couple of printouts of the color choices so we are going to take this the fancy mall I have some dimensions I want to ask them because it has to hit a certain point um, for this furniture to work and if it doesn't then we won't buy it we'll scrap it and we'll you know rethink the table choice but if it does if all the dimensions are right, we will purchase the table and I'm going to show you how to save a couple of dollars on restoration hardware. Now here is the vintage thrifted table that I have in my house and I do love it, but these legs are going to get in the way of the chairs that spin and then also the settee or the banquette that's going to go back there those legs are going to get in the way as well when people scoot in and out of the table. So Joe and I have settled on a table that has a pedestal and I like this one. I'm also liking this style too, but I think these chunky feet are going to get in the way. But I do love the rustic look of this table. Look at that big chunk missing. I love this table, but I don't think these little feet are going to work. So we have this question, this table in mind, and I need to figure out what the height ratio is from the bottom, the very bottom of the table down to the floor because that will make a whole big difference with the chairs that spin. So with those questions in mind and that thought in mind, we are going to go to Restoration Hardware and we are going to purchase that table. Maybe. Let's go. Yeah, I really like looking at it through this, yes. And we do have swatches, like this size of swatches mm -hmm. of the natural that you can check them out and take home. And when you bring them back, you get a full refund for them. If you wanted to see it like, like against the um, mantle before okay. you like go and place the order. I don't know if that's, that could be helpful. I do think it's the right choice to go with the natural. Wow. 
well, we did it. We bought the table and I cannot wait for you guys to see it, but you will have to wait. You will have to wait to see it come in. But a special shout out to V. Thank you so much for making my experience and buying that table wonderful. I absolutely love that store. So what we did is we bought the table. It was on sale. Plus if you were a member and you can buy a membership, it actually knocked um, money off. So I actually saved like $400 on that table and I bought the table and the membership and that membership is good for a year and I have my eyeballs on a couple of pieces that will actually be great for the house. So that is one of the tricks that you can use um, if you want to purchase something from Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware pieces are magnificent. I cannot wait for it to come in. It'll be here between March and April. And that's kind of where, when all the pieces are gonna start trickling here too. So I cannot wait for you guys to see it all together. But again, thank you V. Thank you so much for, you know, just helping a regular old person <laughs> navigate the restoration hardware experience. You are wonderful and I give you many love and joys for that sweet little baby that is on the way. So, thank you. Now, you and I have a date. We have to finish that cabinet. So, now we can start working on the kitchen.